If you're after a naked litre sports bike, there is so much competition. They've got crazy power, they've got low weights, all the aids and all the gizmos you'd ever want. But if you want something a bit simpler, a bit cheaper, then this looks like a great option. It's Honda's CB1000R Black Edition. So what makes this so special? Well, this bike will set you back £12,999, so that's under 13 grand. That is a lot cheaper than most of the other sports bikes in this category, in the naked category. And it's a lot of bike for the money. So you've got your CB1000R as the base. It's relatively unchanged for 2021, although there's a few little minor things to get it for Euro 5 and a new little dash and a few little bits like that. But with this, the black edition, Honda really have pulled something out of the bag. I was not expecting it to A, look this nice and B, perform as well as it does for the money. So for starters, the thing that's got me the most about this is the finish. It is so striking and I cannot believe the price on it. It's got so many nice details to it. And even when you're sitting on top, like the top yoke is all etched in, the wheels are gorgeous. And the way that the black finishes the whole way across the bike, is so refreshing is it is an actual black edition and it really does look the part all right it's never going to perform as well as like the ceiling of super naked but it's got a load of usable power it's got a load of usable torque it is so user friendly i can't believe how soft and smooth it is and it, it sure it doesn't have that punch and aggression that some of the other models have but it almost makes up for it in its charm the engine is so easy to use and the fact that it comes with a quick shifter and blipper is standard it just really completes the package. If you're looking for a bike that's going to be hardcore, high performance to take on track, then this probably isn't for you. As the styling suggests, it's not made for that. It's a Neo Cafe type racer and it's made to ride along, to be enjoyed. And to be honest, it's happiest when bimbling. I found that it's probably not the best thing for long journeys. Like it, the seat's quite hard and it doesn't have a few things like cruise control make a massive difference. And just a little bit of a screen would be an absolute godsend. But for sort of hour, hour and a half, it's perfect. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I was. It's not perfect, it's not the comfiest bike in the world, nor is it the fastest, nor is it the most exciting. But if you're after a really nice finish, if you're after something that's got a fair amount of top end, but will get you there safely, will get you there comfortably, then it's hard to look past this. And for the price, I think it's an absolute bargain.